Well, hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to take a close look at Roborock's flagship docking station, the empty wash fill dock, which is included with the S7 Max V Ultra or it can be purchased separately. I recently reviewed the S7 Max V, which I will leave a link for above and in the description below. The new empty wash fill dock is not small by any means, but it does a lot to make up for this. Measurements are roughly 16 inches both wide and tall and 19 inches deep. Not only does it empty the robot's internal dustbin, it also washes the mopping pad and refills the water tank so you do not have to. Along the top of the dock you will find the dirty water tank on the left, the clean water tank in the center, and on the right a cover for the 2.5 liter dust bag that Roborock claims can hold up to 7 weeks of dust and dirt. To me the most impressive and unique part is down below though. When you start a mopping job the robot will turn around and back up to the dock. The dock will pre-wet and thoroughly scrub the mopping pad. It then refills the water tank on board the S7 Max V. I found the mopping pad was never left dripping or too wet for my wood floors. Each time the robot returns to the dock for a cleaning, it also gets its water tank topped off. It is during this time that the clean or dirty water tanks could need refilling and emptying. Thankfully the robot will speak to you and let you know when this happens. Error 38. Clean tank error. Check tank placement or refill as required. Once your S7 Max-V has finished cleaning your home, it will go back to the dock for a final wash of the mopping pad. Once the mopping pad is clean, the S7 Max-V will turn around to empty the dustbin and begin charging. This is where the new empty wash fill dock has another secret, fast charging. It will charge the robot about 30% faster than the other docks. This may be important for people who have larger homes. Now let's look at the cleaning mechanism found in the base of the dock. It consists of a washing module with a removable spinning scrub brush that slides on a track left and right, spraying the mopping pad and scrubbing it at the same time. It is also scraping the bottom of the dock, removing dirt, so it can be pumped out of the dock into the dirty water tank. The dirty water drains into this small area here on the right, Lift up the plastic tab here and you will need to clean this piece and the drain below with a wet towel every so often. It's not hard to clean, but you do have to remember to check it. I ran several tests with 1000 milliliters of water in the clean water tank in the dock, which does hold 3000 milliliters of water, and the results were that I consumed anywhere between 200 and 400 milliliters in my 100 square foot test. The difference depends on the settings in the app that you can customize. Sending the robot back to the dock every 10 minutes for a wash of the mopping pad is going to use up some water pretty fast, if you have a large home for sure. In the end, personally I felt the water consumption was quite acceptable and Roborock does give you a bunch of control over the water consumption through the app. Now let's look at the auto empty feature of the new dock. Roborock has a very powerful vacuum motor in the base which quickly removes all of the contents from the S7 Max V's internal waste bin. When it is emptying, the dock draws around 10.7 amps and 950 watts of power. Okay, in this example, I cheated the system a bit to show you the action. But after I sealed it back up with the filter in place, I was able to remove the heavier dirt in the bottom. The dirt is removed through a single hole in the bottom right of the inlet in the dock. The dirt is stored under this lid in the 2.5 liter dust bag, which is HEPA rated at E12. When the dust bag is full, simply pull up on the tab to remove it and put a new one back in its place. If you buy the bundle with the S7 Max V and this dock, the retail price is steep at $1400 and the dock pricing alone is double that of the older auto empty dock. This may not matter if you want the best dock on the market right now. Not only does it empty, wash, and fill the S7 Max V, it inadvertently fixes several of the mopping flaws found with the S7 series. It does this by first pre-wetting and washing the mopping pad before every mopping job.
And by scheduling it to go back to the dock, every so often the mopping pad stays evenly wet. You see, the S7 Max-V, just like the older S7, only has one water outlet to drop water in the center of the mopping pad. Without this dock, even if you pre-wet the mopping pad, after around 10 minutes of mopping, it will start to dry up on the outer edges. This is something users have complained about over and over on the original S7, and the same goes for the S7 Max-V. That is, unless you have this dock. But that is not all that makes this dock the best. I'm just shocked at how well it cleans all of the mopping pad. Here you can see what the pad looks like right after my endurance mopping test with hot sauce. And here it is after one wash and again after a second wash. After mopping my home for several months, the mopping pad still looks new and I haven't hand washed it one single time. This is impressive. I had zero problems with the auto empty portion of the dock. I do wish there was a bagless version as I know many will complain about this. Here are a few additional minor gripes. For one, I hate the placement of the handles on the water tank. They always seem to get in the way of lifting the lid and opening the latch. I also do not care for the cover on the dust bag, as it is too easy to get the bag pinched in the lid, where it will cause you to lose an airtight seal. The dock is not loud when it is cleaning the mopping pad, but things do get loud when it is emptying the dustbin in the S7 Max-V, so keep that in mind when you're trying to figure out where to put this in your home. Minor gripes aside, the dock is an amazing piece of technology that is a must-have if you want the very best hands-off vacuum and mopping experience. If you're on the fence about getting this dock, I understand. It's not cheap. You will have to decide if all these features are worth the cost of the dock. Keep in mind for now, this is only compatible with the S7 Max-V and not the older S7. Links to purchase are in the description below. I want to thank everyone for watching this video. Drop your questions below and please subscribe to support my efforts here. Take it easy everyone. Bye-bye.